I'm Jim Riley. What makes a chemical hazardous? Is it the ability to destroy things by burning or blowing them up? Or is it the potential for disrupting the normal functions of the human body, causing healthy cells to turn cancerous or toxins to build up in the blood? The answer to both questions is yes. In fact, it's the capacity to do either of these things that can make a substance dangerous. A hazardous material can produce results as subtle as a wound that won't heal or as obvious as an exploding building. But no matter what its effects, in order to handle any hazardous substance properly, you must know its characteristics. Only then can you work with it safely. One of the best ways to provide people with information about hazardous materials is through a container label. In fact, labeling containers is so important that OSHA, the Department of Transportation, and the EPA have all established labeling requirements for the materials that they regulate. The DOT and the EPA have even developed their own labeling systems. As you would suspect, the Department of Transportation's labeling system is used with materials that are transported. The labels address issues such as preventing shocks and keeping incompatible materials away from each other. To keep workers safe in all types of situations, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, has incorporated two types of labeling requirements in the Hazard Communication Standard. 1910.1200. First, OSHA requires the manufacturers, importers, and distributors of hazardous chemicals to label all containers of these substances that leave their facilities.